Hello, my name is Alexandru Matei, the CTO of Maskin Studios. Welcome to the first video representing the latest features and updates for our graphics engine. Last time we showed you some visual glue graph features and some level mechanics. This time we are making a few updates on some level mechanics and new features and functions for visual glue graph. Let's talk about the new features added in glue engine. In the tool section we have a new section called scene where you can enable or disable functions in the scene such as lens flare you can toggle on and off water you can toggle on and off and you can set some parameters to the water such as waves choose a number and make waves second we have new functions in visual glue graph such as camera component where you can set the player's speed mouse sensitivity you can attach this node to multiple secondary nodes such as level started on touch event click compile place a player start marker Play. and we have the new speed, the camera sensitivity and we can instantly change these parameters by sliding, compile it Play. and then a new speed second we have restart level which you can program it when you touch an object in the scene you can have a splash screen for the loading time and the time itself click compile and test the level When you are entering the, the object, a message will pop up for simulation and then level restarted. This image will be full screen because it's in beta mode. This is just for debugging. We also have mouse input function where you can select from mouse buttons left, middle or right let's make some music playing when pressing the middle mouse button right click, music, ok, choose a music attach the node set the volume or the loop compile and run Play. when we are pressing the middle mouse button We also changed the level mechanics, such as when you're creating the level from primitives, such as cube, sphere, plane, cylinder, cone, we have an axis that you can manipulate and move the objects very easily. And also, you see here, mode, move. We can also press the Q button or the W button. The Q button represents the scale. We can scale the object very easily. Up and down, right and left. And then we can move the object by pressing the W. 
and instantly create the object by adding polygons. Also, if we want to see 3D object, we can press the space key and then create a random room by scaling the brush again and then click subtract we have now a room place random lights quick lights by pressing the alt and click or click on the light button choose the range choose the shadow intensity choose the color and click OK we can also create a random object, object and then click on it and scale it in real time by pressing the Q button In the next updates, the texture will be automatically resized to prevent stretching. So, as you can see, it is very easy to create levels in Glue Engine. Press Escape and you're done. You can also duplicate the object by selecting the object and then ALT click select the multiplied object and then simply move it we also have new functions new representation functions such as level, level information, objects in the scene, ambient level and the scene name. Also you have information about the hard hardware, graphics card and processor type and also for the software Windows 7, Windows Type 64 bit. We also have weapon implementation. This is a test weapon to see the ability of Glue Engine to handle weapons. These are all the updates for now. Please stay tuned for the next video and please send us a feedback on Facebook and on our forums. Have a nice day and stay tuned for the beta release.